we have got um, some 55 lakh persons uh, from around 40 lakh households who are beneficiaries of uh, various uh, social security payments uh, old age widows uh, or uh, differently able and each of them we have paid uh, something like um, 8500 rupees okay that is pretty large amount of money to be pay out something like 4500 crores of rupees now having done that we have moved to the next stage uh, these are retired people so every member of the welfare funds that covers almost all the wage laborers in the kerala or self employed in kerala except farming they are all going to be given uh, amounts to 1000 to say 5000 uh, and that process has uh, started you see and third in the third stage we will be looking into households which have not been covered if anybody has been left out of these two target distribution they would also be included with 1000 rupees now um, along with that has been to ensure uh, minimum food so a kit with three types of pulses oil um, tea sugar and so on uh, worth around 1000 rupees um, and 15 uh, kilos of rice to every household in kerala okay uh, apl bpl doesn't matter every household because is question not uh, we are a chronically food deficit state and therefore uh, it is not um, even the above poverty line people be equally affected by the lockdown so everybody has been provided with this now there may be street people there may be destitute houses and so on we can choose who they are etc so we have opened up something like uh, uh, 1300 uh, community kitchens in the state yeah there there you you can get free food and uh, 4 lakh meals are being served every day you don't come and eat in a dining hall but you can order the food and it will be delivered home so we have a vast uh, number of volunteers who are in, well involved in this job we are thinking of recruiting a volunteer force about for every 100 citizens uh, one person that process is so yeah this is the kind of uh, in the, the uh, program that we are having during the lockdown period Yes, absolutely right. This is a unique situation. It's not normal recession uh, where there is just a demand collapse. There is also perhaps all the supply chains are cut. It's a lockdown. <laughs> It's not just a only recession where you can just pump prime and revive the economy. Therefore, it requires uh, you need to have very careful planning. Now, uh, that precisely is something that we are working on. i think we have another big time to do that uh, but it involves one um, the first uh, sector that would be uh, say lockdown uh, would be uh, say uh, relaxed would be agriculture sector hmm? well, agriculture because there you know kerala the small parts of land you are working on your own land so already we are encouraging people to cultivate their own vegetable because vegetable supplies are being cut so that is all even under the lockdown everybody in the house plant something now be self reliant kitchen gardens are coming up that's why but now that will be expanded into other crops and so on because i think it should be possible to keep social distance and still continue the activities in agriculture except in uh, city gardens and so on where you have to enforce a certain uh, regimentation regarding that social distance are kept and so on so this this is a, but now to do that um, we will have to have a moratorium on uh, repayment of uh, farmers debt Uh, we may have to subsidize to kick start say the the the, the uh, production uh, we have to ensure this is an appropriate time to 
Kerala to bring in um, say agriculture processing industries we were we are awfully behind so we for example we could ask this appropriate time for our cooperatives to start uh, say, procuring coconuts and then setting up processing of the products so this gives an opportunity to have a new beginning so this may be the first sector second would be there are a whole lot of cottage industries um, in fact they could also be equally um, relaxed you know for example uh, um, choir industry for example all the spinning are spinning is done in the households why should they be locked out they can start it uh, so slowly the self employed sectors they will be the initial area where uh, activities start but you now it has to be calibrated because one, there must be some method of procuring it um, and selling it so our apex cooperative bodies have to be uh, no we are working very efficiently and then you have for example sectors which is going to take a long time to become normal for example tourism uh, there is no no way tourism industry can be opened up say within another 3 months or 4 months uh, there must be confidence upon foreign people also to come to our places therefore you think in of a much longer term but no we intend to start a campaign right away after the lockdown is over um showcasing kerala resilient kerala how we have tackled covid and this is a place safe for you and a lot of tourists who have been stranded in kerala now who are being moved by special flights to france britain and so on uh they 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 have been glowing tributes you know we just put them up in hotels gave them best treatment and free treatment and they many of them patients that are amazed at the the health uh, um, service that we have so we want to build on this strength so this is a different kerala come you are going to be safe here we will open up say after the rains in september or the boat race season so is a marketing will start the industries which will lead uh, the the post lockdown stage would be uh, yeah would be say industries that will be contributing to uh, healthcare mm-hmm. uh, for example we are getting there's a public sector unit to manufacture drugs and medicine we are expanding even now the the facilities uh, and so on uh, capacity utilization it was a small company which used to produce uh, uh, 20 30 crores but by the end of the year it will be have capacity manufacturing capacity for uh, 250 crores of this sanitizer and so on uh, so there are also private sector uh, say drug units we are going to bring them all into consortium and then uh, production of masks production of medical devices see some of our research centers like for example um, rajiv gandhi biotechnology center they have produced a rapid uh, test kit uh, which uh, we are hoping somebody would industrially utilize we are going to give them all the help to such, such startups so see the trinal research center uh, they have produced a oxygen mask which can be a substitute for less severe uh, patients who do not need a ventilator um, and so on and so forth no so many innovations in the waiting which is a bright uh, thing for the startups so we are going to have um, say former pharmaceutical industry we are backward but this is an opportunity to catch up and uh, this is one government of india uh, doesn't seem to realize let me tell you something a shocker i have now yeah, government of india has not given any money extra because of covid while the states are the front line fighting now there are two options you don't do it because you don't money or just do it we have chosen the next second option so what we do how do we get the money for that we are just front loading all our borrowing borrowing and then do what we have got to do we will see the future crisis later 
now we went to the market yesterday our fetch stock of uh, 6 and uh, 6000 crores of rupees and to my greatest surprise the coupon rate is 9% can you imagine now this is a surest path to a debt trap the economy growing at 2.5% and stays being forced to borrow at 99% this dovar has said what would happen to such an economy now central government is pushing the states into a debt trap now what is happening this is an indicator of a kind of kind of uh, say a kind of um, the liquidity preference that has come into the financial sector they want to capture the money they are not willing to run otherwise when the sulsa bank is bringing down the repo rate and so on why should suddenly the coupon rate with state why state was enjoying at 7.5% jump to 9% now this simply shows government has to change the policy they have to borrow from the reserve bank and make money level to the people here but to the states they shouldn't push states into this money market at this state but they are always thinking in these lines there's some macroeconomics required